Mm. Need that. It's about 7.30 in the evening. Sun's just going down. And I thought I've just got enough time. Roll my sleeves up. Get some a little bit of salad. So, so I've got a little cauldron container that I drilled some additional holes in. Well, in fact, I don't think it had any holes when we got this. And I can't remember what it had planted. I think it was some sort of Halloween-y planting that I gave to my nan and then she gave me the pot back. And I thought, well, that's perfect for a bit of salad. Okay, so I'm at the potting deck. I have a few different types of salad leaf. I've got some, some loose leaf lettuce. I've got some spicy mixed salad leaf and some rockets there. So I'm going for quite a powerful salad mix, but that's how I like my salad. I think that's the trick, you grow what you like. So first, what I'm gonna do is just put some compost into here. What I am gonna do is put a tiny bit of grit, just for drainage in the bottom. Because it's a reasonably deep container and I've just got some horticultural grit here. It's not going to matter at all. The plant, and then that will just help the water sort of drip through. I've now got some peat-free multi-purpose compost. I would quite often be sowing with seed compost or multi-purpose with a top layer of seed, but I haven't got that, so this is what's going in. And to be honest with you, most leaf salad isn't that fussy with germinating in multi-purpose compost. Particularly if I'm starting it off in a container in the greenhouse and then moving it outside. Uh, so what am I going to do next? I'm going to get a jar I've got here, which is just to compress down the compost. It's going to be about right. Now I'm going to sow my lettuce. Now I could just bung all the seed in at the same time, but I find this sort of loose leaf lettuce likes to perhaps be about a centimetre deeper than the rest to get the best from it. And that's just sort of what I found from personal experience. Let me do it around this way so you can and I'll clean my hands so you can see this lettuce leaf because it's tiny. Right. Okay, so quite small stuff, yeah? But not totally out of control. I don't need too much, to be honest with you. I'm probably going to be fairly generous, put about that much in, in case some of it doesn't germinate. And I just like to sew it by rubbing my hands together and letting it scatter around. I find the odds just seem to work in your favour doing it that way. I could be really meticulous and do it like that, but no, no, it's not worth it. So that's the lettuce done. There we go. And now I'm gonna put a little bit more compost on top. And I'm looking to get about half a centimetre to a centimetre after I've pressed this down on top. Again, gently pressing down this time, but just to make sure that that lettuce seed is in contact with the compost. Now I have sown lettuce seed just on the surface and it's been fine. So it's just, you know, my personal preference. Now the spicy leaf salad. Okay. And you'll see from this, interesting mix of different sorts of seeds there. Okay, tip some of them back in. Oh, I'm losing some of them. There we go, I think that's a fairly good mix. Quite generous with this one. Again, scattering around. I will get the ones that spilt on the potting deck as well with a tiny bit of compost there. 
Right, that's those. At the same time, I'm going to do my rocket. So let's just pop the leaf salad away there. And obviously all those different seeds with the leaf salad, some would have liked to have been deeper, some would have liked to have been just as they are or on the surface. But I think the, the way I work it is they, they, you sort of look at the average. Okay, and here's my rocket. Probably a bit not that much there. That's the rocket seed there. I do love rocket. And again, just sprinkling. If I think I've done any, <laughs> I did mound that a tiny bit actually with the rocket, but I think I've got that about right. Okay, and now all I do is I just pop compost on top to top dress it. I just want to put um, half a centimeter's worth of compost after it's compressed. And I'm just putting the compost on Pressing it down, and it's that it's going to be about half a centimeter thick. I like to leave a bit of a ridge here because uh, when it goes out, in particular, it's going to be watered with a can, and so you know soil can wash off and stuff like that. So I keep a good couple of centimeters from the top on this type of container. I'm not putting grit on or anything like that because I think it will just make it more of a faff for it to come, for plants to come up through. And I'm starting off in the greenhouse, so there's no real reason. And there it is there, and I'm just giving it a good spray. This is how I will be watering it at first until the seedlings come up to a reasonable size and I can water it with a small can. I definitely wouldn't be watering it with a big watering can, it'll just wash all the seed everywhere. I've labeled it and with a date on the back and I will probably start cutting the salad that I want from it in about four weeks ish time and it will be a cut and come again so it'll just keep coming up I'll cut a bit just as I need it let it come back through so I won't be pulling anything out unless it gets overcrowded <laughs> 